Okay, so we just picked up our camper van and now we are starting our adventure here in Ireland. Yes. So if you have been following our channel, uh, last this past September we did a two week camping trip across Scotland. Uh -huh. And so now we are doing something similar but here in Ireland. So we're gonna be making a few videos, probably at least one video about our time here in Ireland. Mm -hmm. uh, so we plan on traveling to the southwest part of the country, going going to see the uh, Ring of Kerry, Kerry mm -hmm. and the Barra Peninsula, and just looking forward to seeing a lot of the, the coastline and just the natural beauty of yeah. Ireland. The past couple days we've been in the city, we went to Belfast, and we've been in Dublin. We didn't do much in Dublin the last couple days, and yesterday we did the Giant's Causeway. I am. I am so looking forward to, to getting out of the city and seeing the countryside and more of the coast, especially after yesterday, getting a glimpse of it there. Yep, so let's hit the road and let's get going. We started our trip by driving two hours south of Dublin to the town of Cashel. Okay, so this is our first real stop on our road trip so far. Uh, we are at the Athasel Priory, uh, which is like the ruins of a small monastery. Mm -hmm. We just stopped at the grocery and got uh, some stuff for dinner and for the week. And so now we're going to come check this out. And, uh, hopefully get some cool footage of this. Um, but yeah, we still have to go find where we're going to camp tonight. I think tonight we're just going to do some wild camping just like boondocking or something we don't have a campsite reserved so that's one of the good things about uh, camping here in the UK and in Ireland in a lot of these countries and areas you can just uh, there's places you can just pull off and just camp wherever you want so this is a privately owned place so they have this gate but it's locked but you can go up these stairs I read reviews online that you can jump the fence and go see it as long as you respect it because it is on private property. So they said also to like close the gate. I think there's a gate over here. The cows will follow you into the monastery. Athosel Abbey was established as an Augustinian monastery in the 12th century and dedicated to St. Edmund. Athosel Abbey is the largest medieval priory in Ireland. It burnt down in 1447, but wasn't fully destroyed. While now it's located on a privately owned farm, you can still wander around and admire the ruins. So I think this is very cool. I'm so glad we got to check this out. This is a good first taste of Ireland. I think that the the ruins here, the architecture totally makes me think of like Lord of the Rings, um, but it's very neat. Definitely recommend if you're in this area. So Lucas and I had to do this separately because the cows are actually all bulls and they were being a little, they were jumping on each other and they, I don't know, and they wouldn't really move away from the the wall we had to climb. And we were just a little too nervous to take the kids, especially with Truett. Like, I don't know, I just, he screams and, you know, so we came separate. Um, it's my turn now. So I'm gonna check this out. Lucas said it reminded him of the uh, Lord of the Rings. And I have to say, absolutely giving me some lord of the rings vibes um and i love lord of the rings so i'm really excited to check this out i will say that being here alone is a little creepy um because the graveyard and just it's very it's just so old and it's just i don't it's just there's something about it it's it's creepy it's kind of creeping me out a little bit being here by myself
So we just survived our first night camping here in Ireland. We just stopped at a place that we found on an app called Park for Night, uh, which is a great app if you are camping here in Europe. It shows lots of places where you can uh, camp for free, places uh, that are campsites or places to get uh, like gas and propane and water and, and uh, dump your sewage and stuff like that. So uh, this was one location where it's actually a business, it's a restaurant. So they said you can camp here for free, just you know, try to uh, make sure you patronize the restaurant, you know, you use their services. Um, so that's what we plan on doing. We're going to stop here and get some breakfast before we head on to our next uh, location. We just had a great breakfast here mm -hmm. and this is the Mother, Mother Hubbard's, Mother Hubbard's mm -hmm. restaurant. That's where we stay the night, just yeah. had breakfast and I got to try the black pudding and the white pudding for the first time. <laughs> I actually liked it. I thought it was really great. I think the white pudding was uh, was better for me. That's what mm -hmm. I like better than the black pudding. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very similar to something we've had back in the States. Uh, in Cincinnati, there's something called getta, uh -huh. which is very similar to that, kind of like a sausage mix with the, the different oats or grains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, um, I didn't like it. <laughs> I like it. But I'm picky and I don't know, I think it, it's an acquired taste, you know. Yeah, so next we're going to head to the Rock of Cashel. That's here in this town where we're at, in the town of Cashel. And then we're going to uh, head towards the Barra Peninsula. What'd you get, Griff? I got sheep. Okay. It looks like seaweed down down. Okay, cool. So this is going to be your souvenir from for the trip? Yeah. Okay, sweet. The Rock of Cashel was once the castle for the King of the Kingdom of Munster. Supposedly St. Patrick came here to convert King Quinnus to Christianity. It was later donated to the Catholic Church. The structure standing dates back to the 12th and 13th century. Tickets to visit are 8 euro, but if you want to visit the McCormick Chapel, then you have to get tickets for a guided tour. This castle is very impressive. It is huge. I feel like they have kept it very well maintained. Um, the walls, a lot of the walls are still standing. It's not as ran down as the abbey that we saw last night. So it's kind of cool to see all these structures and just the way it might've looked back then. So from the Rock of Cashel you can follow the Tipperary Heritage Way and that will take you down to there's another ruin that you can see from the Rock of Cashel. Um, it's just in this field with uh, some more cows. You can walk there and go check that out. Check that out and there's a lot less people and it's free. So the ruin that you can see from the Rock of Cashel is the Hoare Abbey. And if you come down here to visit it, it also gives you a really good photo opportunity of the Rock of Cashel. So just a short walk into the town from the Rock of Cashel is the Cashel Folk Village. So we're gonna go check that out. So they would sleep back at night under cover of darkness and try to get food, survive, and 
Okay. You stand there or sit down, chat. You sit or stand or whatever, wherever you're coming, whatever. And I could be standing here so I can show. Easter Rising, 1916. Garden of Remembrance. And the So we just finished visiting the museum and it actually was really neat. So it's a small museum, just a privately owned museum. It was eight euro for an adult and then kids under five are free. Um, but as soon as we walked into the door, the owner gave us um, kind of this pamphlet or this uh, that has all of the um, facts from each of the exhibits. And he gave us a personalized tour, walked around to see the different sites. Um, and it was really cool. There's a lot of really neat um, history here and artifacts from um, the Easter Rebellion and uh, just from Ireland trying to get its independence. Uh, from Great Britain. So that was really cool. Next we're gonna head back to the camper van, grab some lunch, and head on uh, to the Bear Peninsula.